Good time of the day. Today is September 20th, 2023. And this is our daily report. Azerbaijan's president has declared that his country's sovereignty has been restored over Nagorno-Karabakh after a 24-hour military offensive against ethnic Armenian forces. Some 120,000 ethnic Armenians live in the South Caucasus enclave, recognized internationally as part of the Azerbaijan. September 20th, 1300 Moscow time, Artsakh signed a ceasefire with Azerbaijanian brokered by the Russian Peace Force Command in the region. The unconfirmed reports state that the defenders lost half of its human power and ran out of ammunition. Azerbaijan forces lost from 300 to 500 men. The loss of the region sparks questions about what will be happening with ethnic Armenians after the war, and which course will the current Armenian government take? We will monitor the situation as it very well may develop into yet another proxy war, similar to the 60-year-old conflict in Israel and a nine-year-old conflict in Ukraine. New questions have risen about Alameda County's District Attorney Pamela Price's boyfriend being hired for a job in the DA's office. Antoine Claude was hired as a senior program analyst, but according to the East Bay Times, that position was never publicly advertised. The report also uncovered details of his past work experience where he oversaw a Richmond-based company that had its business suspended by the state tax officials. In 2015, a previous report detailed allegations that he extorted Richmond business owners for tens of thousands of dollars, though no criminal charges were ever filed. The popular response from the Alameda DA Price is that all attacks at her are based on her race. Price, who took office just six months ago, has remained steadfast in her commitment to implement progressive policies centered around restorative justice. However, critics accuse her of being soft on crime and point to her leniency in applying sentencing enhancements and her handling high-profile homicide cases. A recall committee has been formed to spearhead the campaign to remove Price from office. On Tuesday, organizers of Save Alameda for Everyone, aka SAFE, Recall DA Price, submitted campaign finance paperwork to the county's election office, a necessary step to initiate fundraising according to the San Francisco Chronicles. Worsening air quality in the Bay Area due to wildfires in Northern California and Oregon led authorities to issue a spare the air alert for Wednesday and Thursday. Parts of the North Bay are at risk for wildfires. There is a red flag warning for parts of Napa, Sonoma and Solano counties from 11 p.m. Wednesday until Thursday at 5 p.m. Dry conditions combined with warm temperatures and gusty winds create the increased risk of fires according to the National Weather Service. Hazy skies were seen in much of the Bay Area. On Wednesday morning, some of the worst conditions were in the South Bay and East Bay, near Livermore. Fremont PD stated that the department is aware of the smoky air and asked citizens to refrain from calling 911 unless they see a fire. Texas Governor Greg Abbott declared an invasion at the southern border Wednesday evening, deploying the Texas National Guard, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and local law enforcement agencies. Along with the post, Abbott attached a letter sent to President Joe Biden last November. In the letter, Abbott argues the federal government is not upholding its end of a constitutional agreement to individual states to protect each of them against invasion. The federal government's failure has forced me to invoke Article 1, Paragraph 10, Clause 3 of the U.S. Constitution, thereby enabling the state of Texas to protect against invasion by the Mexican drug cartels, Abbott said in the letter. There are more states requesting help from the federal government and warned that they may invoke similar actions to protect themselves. Meanwhile, Mexican railway company has halted operations after a video shows migrants packed into freight cars riding into the U.S. went viral earlier this week, citing safety concerns for those climbing aboard. There has been a significant increase in the number of migrants in the recent days, Ferromax said in a statement, adding that it was stopping the trains to protect the physical safety of the migrants while it waited actions by the governing authorities and law enforcement to solve the larger issue. 
The company specifically cited about a half a dozen regrettable cases of injuries or deaths caused by migrants hopping onto freight cars in the recent days. It also said some migrants were jumping onto moving freight cars despite the grave danger that represents.